How's it going guys? Dragast here and welcome back to another episode of the Best Besiege Creations. Today we're starting off with obviously a land-based vehicle here. This one's called the Grasshopper and it is a pretty interesting vehicle. The developer calls it a wheel-powered only climbing glider so it can climb mountains and it can glide as well. I'm gonna more call it a trick vehicle though because as you can see it's got some pretty crazy gyros on it that allow you to do some very fun tricks with it. And it also goes about 500 kilometers an hour, so you can really get this thing going and have some serious fun with it. And as you can see, it doesn't break very easily as well. So I'm just going to drive around the map right now, have some fun, and uh, see how far we can fly this thing. Because I wouldn't really call it a glider. It actually does kind of fly if you can get it fast enough. And let's see if we can do that, actually. We're gonna go out to the open here. I mean, you can see it's already... It doesn't want to stay on the ground. It's a confused car because it definitely doesn't act like any other car that I've played with before. So I want to go find one of those ramps and uh, see if we can maybe ramp up it and see how far we can get. Uh, but if we can just do some rock crawling as well, that'd be great. You know what? I'm gonna try and fly with this thing a little bit. You can see if I can get the speed fast enough, I mean, you can seriously... Uh, fly with this thing. It doesn't stay, oh god, in the air though, uh, for too long. That being said, it goes so fast it doesn't need to stay in the air for too long, but let's see if we can do a little bit of a jump here, so... Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> And that's what's so damn fun about this thing. It is just, it doesn't make any sense at all. Obviously, it's been modded like crazy, but that doesn't matter. That's part of what Besiege is all about, modding and having some simple fun. Now, there is a ramp behind me, right? Oh, God. Okay, you can... <laughs> I've never been able to literally run into a wall at probably two or three hundred kilometers an hour and not break the thing. We are not in invincibility right now. This thing just is, you know, reinforced with titanium or something. All right, but there's a ramp here. I just want to see if we can maybe make it, like, all the way across the mountain. That'd be pretty damn cool. Oh, yeah, we're going <laughs> to... We, we hardly touched that ramp, and there we go. So we should... Ooh, we are stalling a little bit. I, I don't know what it's called when you stall when you glide, but, yes, you can see we made it all the way over that mountain just with that little jump. And it, I don't know. This, this thing is just... There's nothing else like it in Besiege. It is a very weird vehicle and very fun to play with. All right, but it is called a rock crawler, so let's try and, you know, tame the beast and see if we can actually rock crawl with it because the wheels, they got, like, super grip or something, and it actually does work like a rock crawler. The problem being it has, like, no... Well, it has actually no suspension, so you can't really, you know, take the bumps very well, but you can really fly up the mountains and... I guess it's kind of rock crawling. It's not the, you know, typical sense of rock crawling, though. It's uh, a very future-looking forward sense of rock crawling. Now, let's see if we can actually break this. I'm just going to go balls to the wall, and hopefully... Oh, man, I'm not going to hit the wall at the right side. Finally, you can see it does break. It just takes a long time to do it, and you can probably still totally drive this around just fine. You don't really need the wheels. Half the time, you're using the gyro anyways, and actually, it's actually very hard to drive with three wheels, so I am surprised about that, but uh, still, you can still do some crazy tricks and whatnot. All right, and this next one is just a simple... I guess you could call it a bomb juggler? This thing is pretty interesting. So it's another Japanese creation here, so I have no idea how it works. I think I set it up, though. Uh, and all it seems to do is just juggle bombs. But you know what? That's awesome to me. I love contraptions like this in Besiege. And, uh, yeah, the Japanese community is getting bigger and bigger in this game. Uh, every week I'm just finding more from them. And they have very unique and interesting creations, so that's always fun. Uh, but yeah, all this thing does is juggle bombs. It seems to do it very well, though. Can I actually blow up the bomb? Oh, yep, okay, I can blow up the bombs. That's fun, too. All right, and does this little adorable goofball look familiar? This is Wally, -E, ladies and gentlemen, in Besiege, and I love that it's an actual tank. Uh, a very good feeling tank, too, which is uh, surprising considering how top heavy this damn thing is. Uh, but yeah, this is just a Wally -E creation. It actually doesn't do any damage or anything, but it has a lot of animation to it, which I can appreciate because Wally -E is all about the animation. So you can totally control the head here. You can do left, right, up, down. You get the idea. You can also play with his hands. Uh, that's that, that, that is definitely not his hand. Okay, he, I guess he can rotate his eyeballs, too. I don't think that was supposed to happen. But yes, you can play with the hands as well. You can open and close the hands. I mean, it is just adorable. Now, I feel like Wally's the last person that should be destroying things because he is such an innocent and perfect little robot. But you know what? 
We are going to destroy these bastards. He's a lot bigger than I remember, too. I love how I knocked that guy over. I didn't even hurt him. In typical Wally fashion, he's not killing the knights for some reason. He's just knocking them over. Uh, I, I think it's probably because I'm not going fast enough. But I feel like... Oh, there we go. We finally killed one, Wally. You got some blood on your tank treads now. Oh, he's also got a sport mode. So you can drop it. Not that I'm having a problem with stability, but you can drop down the... Uh, well, the Wally, look at that, <laughs> look at that little hop, uh, to add more stability to it as well, which is pretty cool. All right, I, I, I missed some of the controls too. You can actually extend his head and you are allowed to play with the eyes, so that was not uh, a mistake. You can actually control the eyes as well, which is cool. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That is Wally in a nutshell. He doesn't do much else, but uh, what else is Wally supposed to do? He looks absolutely awesome. All right, we got something a little bit bigger for you guys right now. This is the CTE-63 New Sword Aircraft Carrier. It's obviously based off of a real-world aircraft carrier here. I love the 63 on the side and everything. A lot of attention to detail, and also, this thing is really friggin' fast for a very large ship. Now, the most impressive aspect of this thing is actually the planes, the jets. Well, not the jets themselves, this thing's actually just randomly floating everywhere. Uh, but it actually does have a catapult on it. You can see the catapult connector right here, and then it's also got an arrestor wire, which is one of those, whoa, I don't know why I went all the way down over here. Uh, but it's one of those wires that they use to stop uh, jets when they do land on aircraft carriers. Basically, it just hooks onto this and then slows it right down immediately. So I don't know if we'll be able to hook onto that. That's going to take some precise aiming, but I should at least be able to try the catapult here. So we're just going to reset this so everything's all lined up once again. And we'll see if we can do this. So there's two different jets we can use. You can actually control both of them. This one's already connected to the catapult, though. So we'll see if we can do this. First of all, we need to press P for some reason. And that erects that thing. So I guess that means it's ready to go. Now we need to enable this jet. So assuming I did it right, there should be, yes, some movement there. We're just going to push this thing back. Make sure these things connect together because we got a little clamp down there that needs to clamp the other clamp. There we go. That's perfect just like that. Now... Uh, everything should be ready to go. Hopefully, uh, no bad things happen here. Let's try and take this sucker off and see how we can do with it. So, oh, 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 there we go. We got it, and we are flying. That is awesome. So that's the first time I've used a catapult in Besiege, and it worked pretty damn well. Now, these planes are very, very basic. They're intentionally basic because, uh, well, big machines like this do lag most systems. So the creator tried to make these as simple as possible out of a very few um, actual blocks. And I appreciate that because a lot of these big creations I can enjoy, but I know, you know, the, the common gamer is not lucky enough to enjoy them. And I'm even getting some lag here now as well. Now, I'm going to try and land this thing. I don't know if it's going to be possible, so we're going to drop the wire grabber down. You can see that thing back there. That is supposed to grab that wire. Ah, uh, but... Oh, God. Trying to f land this at that precise. I don't know if that's going to work. I don't even know where the fucking aircraft carrier is anymore. Oh, hey, there it is. Okay, we went too far. All right, gotta say, these planes, although basic, work very well as well, though. I think you can actually... Oh, yeah. Oh, whoa. We got some cannonballs on it. We got some uh, fire. Ah, uh, really awesome here. Okay, we need to obviously start slowing down... Uh, and oh, if I can land this, I would be so freaking happy with myself. Because I just want to see if this wire can actually work, or is it just going to rip off uh, when we do try and land it. Mind you, I did see the developer being able to land it, so I know the thing actually works. So I have turned off the engines now, that's why we're going so damn slow. And hopefully, uh, you can see the aircraft carrier way down over here. I think we're going to have to circle around, though, because we are going a little bit too fast. All right, coming in a little bit sideways. I don't think we're going to be able to get this right if we even have 10,000 tries. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Well, that one was a little bit of a miss, but we didn't crash the plane at least. So let's try again here. Okay. So we need to clip that cord. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, I missed it. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so close. All right. Well, we didn't crash the plane at least we were going in nice and slow I feel like I got this though. I feel like I'm in I'm in the zone to try and land this thing. God damn it I just really want to try that cord All right fine movements fine movements we can do this we can totally freaking do this. Yes <laughs> Oh, that was awesome. Now, it wasn't the smoothest of landings, but holy shit, we did it, and we didn't even... I don't think we broke anything. It actually worked! 
That was so damn cool. Okay, that was absolutely amazing. And as you can see, it is really connected on there. You can actually reset that too if you did want to take off another jet and obviously re-land it as well. That was absolutely awesome. We can still probably control this thing too. Yes, there we go. As you can see, you can still totally drive it around. I think, yeah, we just broke off the front wheel. It was a little bit of a hard landing, but uh, honestly... I connected to the thing and I fucking did it. That felt great. And this thing is absolutely awesome. One day there's gonna be water in Besiege and I cannot wait for that day because ships are some of the best things to do in this game and unfortunately they have to be land ships for right now. Now, obviously that's pretty much it for this one. Uh, you can control this plane as well. Mind you, you do need to set this one up. So, oh, oh yeah, we're flying both at the same time. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to even take off with this. So you can see the difference. Uh, without the pulley system as compared to with it. So yeah, guys, that was the CTE-63 New Sword aircraft carrier. I was a little worried about doing this one because I didn't think I would ever be able to land it, but holy shit, we did it, guys. I finally landed a plane. And we got an alien rover, ladies and gentlemen. This is supposed to be kind of like a futuristic-looking uh, planet rover, just like, you know, NASA has their rovers. Well, this is an alien rover, and uh, it's got some really interesting suspension here. I think it's got, yes, it's got four-wheel steering here, so you gotta be really careful with it because it is a little top-heavy. Uh, whoa, whoa, oh, oh, okay, oh, Jesus. Okay, thankfully it's got good suspension, as you can see. Uh, but this thing, it's not only a rover, it actually... Uh, expands out here and we got some little propellers. So obviously I think you get the idea you can actually hover perfectly with it Which is pretty damn cool. You can see you're basically weightless with uh, that and you can also Turn them all the way on. Oh, oh What did I just what the fuck? All right, just hit the wrong button as per usual uh, There's a lot of buttons with a lot of these creations But yes, you can also fly with it and you can totally control it in the air now, it is a very slow creation. It is a rover after all, so I love how even, like, falling, it's obviously so light that it just kind of floats to the ground here. Let's see if we can... Oh, yeah, perfect landing there. Uh, can you drive like this? I think uh, probably not with it on. Oh, you can kind of can. This is kind of cool. But yeah, not much to say about this one. I just really like the look of it. It's very, uh, well, futuristic and alien-like, so I guess it has a fitting name for itself. Now, oh, okay, yeah, you cannot drive when you got your damn wings on. Okay, let's just try and get it back on the ground here. I wonder what happens when we keep the wings on and put it inside. All right, doesn't really, well, what, what the hell's going on in there? Okay, so it's probably just giving it way more downforce though. I think you could maybe, well, they're whacking each other right now as you can see, but you can maybe design this to put some grip in it as well, and it could possibly be a wall climber as well uh, with some modifications. But yeah, that is, uh, just a little alien rover. I just really like the uh, futuristic look of it, and it does work very well for flying. It's basically like a little blimp. Okay, next up, we got a vehicle here, and this is actually my vehicle, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, designed by Phenome, and he decided to build my Scion FRS in Besiege. Now, if you don't know, I drive this in real life. Black hood and all. Actually, I did take off the black hood now, but uh, he was using an older picture for reference, and I just love that. The Besiege community is absolutely amazing, and you guys treat me way too good for being a little dipshit that just, you know, plays with vehicles and has fun. Uh, but yeah, Phenome decided to uh, bring in my little sports car into the game uh, so I can enjoy it as well, as well as you guys, of course. So yeah, this is the Scion FRS, or, I mean, I guess you could call it the Toyota 86 or the Subaru BRZ as well, because they're all basically the same car with uh, some minor tweaks. Uh, but yeah, it's basically just a little sports car in Besiege. Now, unfortunately, of course, the day that I get my car to try is the day that my mods actually break. Now, I don't know if the game updated or whatnot, but my mods are not working, so we cannot take this to a track and have some fun with it. But still, even on this map, I mean, we can drive it around, and it is just a drift master. Look at this thing. All right, let's try and hit a little jump here. This thing's got no suspension at all, even in real life. So yes, it's accurate to real, real life. Uh... Yeah, we crashed. Now, does this thing... I don't think... No, it doesn't have... Well, it doesn't have accurate interior. I don't even think it really has interior. Oh, yeah, there's a first-person camera. Look at that. Perfect. Uh, so, yeah, the interior is not done in this one, which is totally fine. I just thought I would check. Uh, still got a first-person camera, though, and you can see uh, much faster when you're going in first-person. So, yeah, that's really it with this one. I mean, obviously, it's just a little car, but, of course, before I did go away from this one, I gotta see how much damage I can do at the Duke's play. I mean, it's my own car. I gotta assume it's gonna do at least a little bit. All right, so we're gonna try for a side hit here. We'll see how good we can do. We should be able to get in there. Ooh, we're actually... 
I thought we would be able to go a little bit faster. I mean, it's only a little sports car, but holy shit. That was like the slowest crash through ever, and we did take it out. Is this thing okay? Is it? Oh, well, the front's not doing so well, and... Let's see if we can get out of here and check the damage. Yeah, not too bad. I mean, we just got a little bit of a, a front bumper issue here. Aside from that, I think we're pretty much good. Oh, there goes a... <laughs> Where'd you come from, Rock? God damn, there's not much room under there. All right, but that is the Cyan FRS in Besiege. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I sure as hell did, even if you guys didn't, because this is just surreal having my own car in a friggin' video game. And finally, we got a Whirly Gig. I think that's what they're called anyways. These things he used to, you know, back in the Stone Age days, before we had the internet, we had to have these things for fun. Basically, you put them in your hands, and then you just spin them, and they fly away. Yes, uh, it was that boring before the internet, guys. But yeah, you're supposed to be able to let this thing fly, and there we go. Oh, 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 let's see if we, oh, if we can crash the freaking castle with it. That is the most intense whirly gig ever, but, uh, yeah, that one didn't really work very well. Oh, this one looks good, this one looks good! Oh, oh, we at least kind of just damaged it. Ah, uh, but yeah, that's honestly all this thing does. It just brought me back... Well, I don't even know if it's my childhood. I don't really remember playing with them, but I remember seeing them on, like, shows and whatnot. It, I might have had one as a kid, I don't know. I, 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 that was, like, fucking ages ago. Uh, but yeah, it's really cool. But yeah, we're gonna wrap up this one here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the Best Besiege Creations. Uh, we had a pretty good week today. I, I landed a plane. I got to play with my car. I mean, there was a lot going on here. And we got to break a whirly gig, I guess. But yeah, we're gonna wrap up this one here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this week of the Best Besiege Creations. And as always, if you do want to play with any of these, links will be in the description to all the creations where you can download them for yourself and have some fun playing with them as well. As always, guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh.